I V M. Welcome to the Origin of Things, episode thirty-seven, all about a little grace. When you think of graceful creatures, what comes to mind? A wolf running in slow motion with David Attenborough narrating, an eagle masterfully plucking its prey out of the ground and majestically rising back up into the heavens, a cat fighting with a shoelace as if it's found its mortal enemy. Okay, maybe not that one. A peacock strutting its stuff, a horse galloping amidst a beautiful desert landscape, or how about a chicken? Now. Chickens normally don't feature in the top ten when you're thinking of Mother Nature's most elegant, but they are interesting animals and sometimes surprising. Maybe because of their external goofiness. Remember that Mercedes-Benz ad from 2013, the one where a chicken was held up in the air with two gloved hands. In that ad, the chicken was slowly moved all around the air, sideways, backwards, forwards, as upside down by Diana Ross plays in the background. The fascinating thing there was the head of the chicken remained completely still, even as Clucky was shaken her feathery behind. This was an ad to show stability of the chicken and, of course, that of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class's intelligent drive magic body control, which the ad reassures us provides optimum driving comfort. While the ad was cute. well if stretching the analogy a little bit was on point chickens are surprising creatures with surprising characteristics in fact they are used quite a bit for research and oh oh by the way don't worry this is a cruelty free and completely vegetarian episode so anyway chickens are used quite a bit for research and they are studied quite a bit in fact the website animalresearch.info the global resource for scientific evidence in animal research states quite a few facts about how our poultry pals have contributed to science sample these facts for instance verbatim from the website the first cancer causing virus was identified in chickens The molecular basis of limb development was found in chickens. Chickens have been invaluable for the study of the development of the nervous system. Chicks highlighted the importance of the antibiotic streptomycin. Influenza vaccines are produced in fertilized chicken eggs. Well, did not know that. Chicks help with the development of the yellow fever vaccine. And get this, chickens are our closest living relatives to dinosaurs. <laughs> well, wow, respect, Clucky. Chickens have been used across a variety of scientific and medical disciplines, and today I want to talk to you about one of them. For the brand that we are speaking about comes from that space, orthopedics. Yes, that's right, orthopedics. You know the department, the hospital you go to when you break a bone or something. Yeah, that. For this, we need to rewind the clock, uh, uh, clock, to the beginning of the century. Not this one, but the last one, to 1906, where a young immigrant called William J. Riley was studying chickens in Boston and observed something, a very particular aspect of these birds. This gave him a eureka moment. He used this insight to set up an orthopedics laboratory in Boston, complete with a logo which had the same font as you know many of those respectable newspaper mastheads. Now, William Riley had a very specific target audience: firefighters and policemen. His product, which was inspired by those chickens, solved a long-standing problem faced by those in those particular professions: a long-standing problem of well, standing long. You see, standing for many hours proved to be quite painful. So William's company, that orthopedics laboratory in Boston, made foot arch supports, and they were quite popular because, unlike earlier arch supports, William used his insights from the chickens and incorporated it into his arch supports, providing comfort like never before. It was a hit. Well, that is a hit among a very small audience. It was still a fairly niche market. There were only so many policemen and firemen he could sell to. His breakthrough came when his company decided to import leather and complete the rest of the footwear with the arch built in. These days I think they call this vertical integration. And because of this arch William's shoes ended up being some of the most comfortable in the market. You could say that it had a bit of soul. Get it? No. Okay, never mind. The company then ended up becoming big and remains quite big. 
But it should be remembered that behind the almost $5 billion company today, there was research, innovation and chickens. Yes, chickens. You see, almost 100 years before that Mercedes-Benz ad, William J. Riley was in his backyard in Boston where he noticed that these goofy birds somehow managed to stand quite still. He wondered why and he surmised it must be because of their feet, their unique three-pronged feet, which seemed to give the bird perfect balance. And in one of the earliest examples of what we might call biomimicry today, built his arch supports and later shoes with three support points. So remember, chickens may not be the most graceful creatures on the planet, but they certainly do have perfect balance. Or as William Riley called it, New Balance. See you next week with another episode of The Origin of Things. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us and all our shows on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, that's Chuck underscore Gopal on Twitter and Chuck of all trades on Instagram. All links in the show notes of this episode. See you next week. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So it's been a great week on the network, as it almost always is. Let me give you a couple of highlights that you should definitely check out. Chiki Sarkar was on This Rounds on Me with Gauri Devi Deyal. Great conversation. Thank you. We'll really enjoy that. Shlok Ramachandran of our new show, Millennial Athlete, who guested on one of our older shows, Football Shirt Ball. He's a big football fan, in addition to being a professional athlete. So I think it's a really interesting connection. And uh, they had a great conversation about football just generally. Nankari, our new show about Indian food, hosted by Sadaf and Arshit talk about laddus this week and basically you know how awesome they are it's diwali week and i think that's an apt conversation for them to have on the wire talks podcast siddharth bhatia has a great conversation with dylan mohan gray about his work on bad boy billionaires specifically around the vijay malia episode definitely check out the conversation if you want to know more about that and finally let me recommend the edges and sledges cricket podcast this week they take a look back at the ipl 2020 they go over the final delhi versus mumbai and how that played out and they also create their dream ipl 2020 fantasy team do check that out. I think you'll enjoy that as well. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. Namaskar, dear Bandhu. My name is Ashish Vidyarthi. These are truly challenging times. And in these times, we need hope. Do take time to listen to my podcast, Begin the Journey. Available on IVM Podcast, website, app, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, there is hope because there's one life and we are alive.